Hey guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to add uh, really fast curtains to your scene with uh, using forest pack, creating a forest with curtains. So, I've prepared few curtains and I convert them into proxy objects. I'm going to uh, create forest, add these curtains to my forest using the multiple option, like this. Then I'm going to create a spline, add the spline into the distribution tab. So here under mode I use path and I'm going to add this one. I'll go then to the um, surface uh, tab and remove um, the surface because I don't need it. And now I can see that the curtains are being visualized. I want to have them along the spline. So I'll, the option is either to rotate the pivot on each of them or I can go to the forest, into the transform tab, here under rotation, I can tell them to rotate exactly 90 degrees under the Z axis, Z axis, like this. Then, I remove this one for a second, then we we'll have, we have forest which is curtain next to curtain. Um, I want to have a bit more a realistic view, so meaning that in some windows I would like to have to, to, to not have uh, curtains. For this thing, I'll add another element here and make it empty. I'm going to name it empty, and here I'm not attaching anything. Under the probability, I'm going to give here around 70 maybe 65 percent and via this empty element here i have some gaps if i move it above you can see i like this this view so then the next step is to draw a line exactly where I've prepared already, where my windows are. And now I can attach my spline to the forest, to the one that I've already prepared like this. Then I can delete this one. And now I have everywhere behind my windows, I have curtains. I prefer to choose the point cloud here, when I go to the forest, in the display tab, if you turn it to plane or boxes, the curtains are shifted or vice versa, upside down, so I prefer to have them in point cloud, so I can see where exactly my curtains are. And if I want to have them, let's say, less curtains over here, I'll just go to the, um, to the geometry and decrease the probability of this one, let's say 55%. And this is really fast, let's say if I want to add a curtain over here to this window too, I can go there to the spline select this one and just copy and drag the spline like this there you go now i can adjust it like this if i want to delete one one of them of course i can just delete the spline it's really fast and easy way to do the forest If you enjoyed anything in the video, then drop a like and 
a big thank you to everyone who does. If you haven't subscribed yet, click below and join us. We have some great videos coming up that you don't want to miss. Thank you for watching and I see you in the next video.